Well, I got a letter here from President Clinton. Wishing us well with Farm Aid. Let me just read a little bit of it to you. I think, uh, I think it's a very friendly letter. Strengthening our economy and feeding people around the world with the bounty of our harvests, America's farmers are a source of pride for us all. Our nation's agricultural success comes from the hardworking men and women who till the fields and grow our food. And they deserve our respect, gratitude, and support. Thank you very much, Mr. President. It's great to be here today in front of this sold out crowd. It's been 10 years and we haven't been able to do too much about it. So, Mr. President, if you want to support the family farmer, you could veto the farm bill until it gets better. And this one should be pretty easy. If you want to support the family farmer, Mr. President, just enforce the corporate antitrust laws to stop factory farms. And last, but not least, if you want to support the American farmer, please, Mr. President, don't let Congress cut our clean water funding to stop factory farm pollution in this country. It's great to be here in front of you all, and I love to play music, but I just had to say a few things about farm aid, because we don't want to be here in 20 years. We don't want to be here in 15 years and we don't want to be here next year. We want everybody to be able to do their own thing and get the right kind of a policy going in Washington to support the farmers so we don't need this at all. And I'd like to say just one last thing. Mr. President, this year is the first year that farmer has been dropped from the census. All of a sudden, there's no more thing, you know, like you take a census and there's no more farmers. There should be a message there somewhere for somebody to act on. But I'm going to sing now because I'm tired of talking.